You don't have to look very far these days to see one of those. They are literally everywhere. They're fast, they're comfortable, they're luxurious, and most importantly of all, they're safe. Yes, I'm talking about cars with four-wheel drive. This S3, for example, like most Audis and many other performance cars, puts down its considerable grunt through all four wheels. It improves safety, handling and performance and is a technological feature we all take completely for granted these days. But there was a time when a four-wheel drive road-going car like this was unthinkable. Unthinkable because the engineering challenges were so great. Nobody could figure out how to get the power to all four wheels without creating so much extra weight that the performance and handling were ruined. Nobody, that is, until a group of Audi engineers in the 80s came up with this. This is the legendary Audi Quattro, a modern motoring icon that changed the world of rallying and was the first proper performance four-wheel drive car for the road. Obviously, this car has none of the modern-day creature comforts you'd expect of an Audi. It certainly doesn't have swooshing indicators and headlights that look around corners, but I tell you what, <laughs> it feels good. This Quattro was the brainchild of a clever bodder Audi called Jorg Benzinger. Jorg was winter testing a military vehicle called a VW Iltis. The Iltis was a small Jeep designed for the German military. Small, light and with four-wheel drive, it could go just about anywhere. Its performance was completely untouchable. Jorg saw the future and realised that if he could come up with a compact, efficient four-wheel drive system, it could offer previously unheard of capabilities and performance in a road car. It really did take a massive effort from Audi because they had to redesign almost the whole drivetrain. So how did the Audi team do it? Let me explain how Audi's innovation changed the modern performance car forever. OK, this is a standard two-wheel drive rear-wheel drive car. What you have is an engine, that's it there, which spins a gearbox, and out the back of that comes a prop shaft, which goes to a differential. This allows the power to go in two directions, left and right, to your rear wheels. They're both driven. And at the front, you then have two wheels that will do the turning, but aren't driven. The problem with two-wheel drive, as demonstrated here, is that it can be hard to put the power down effectively. Now, if you need more traction, what you need is four-wheel drive. The challenge for the Audi's engineers was how to get drive to the front wheels as well, without adding the weight of a cumbersome mechanical process. This is where the magic happened. And as an engineer, I can't help but be in awe of this. It looks simple, but it really is genius. Audi's breakthrough idea was to put a second differential inside the gearbox and then a hollow shaft to take drive to the front. The system was light, compact and efficient, and performance driving would never be the same again. It took a few years to get this idea into production, but when it did, it changed the car world forever. When the rules changed to allow four-wheel drive cars to compete, the Audi Quattro dominated the ultra-competitive Group B rallies. Because it had more traction and performed better on loose surfaces and in wet and snowy conditions. Just three years after the Quattro was released, all World Rally Championship cars became four-wheel drive. So the next time you're driving your modern-day car and you're wafting around corners, not thinking about differentials or any of that, Spare a thought for Jorg and his team at Audi for making your life much, much better.